We all know the benefits we get when the elements in our Revit model are modeled correctly, and over the years Revit has made it easier for us to match our virtual elements with their real-world counterparts. But if you had a rail that needed to follow a tricky slope or the top edge of a wall, you were out of luck. Revit 2017 has improved the rail hosting functionality, allowing for much more flexibility. So now I can host my rails to tops of walls or to roofs, and it's going to follow it and match it precisely. So I go to my floor plan view, I activate my rail tool like normal, it goes into sketch mode, and I'm just going to draw my single line sketch here. I'm going to pick the host right inside the tool and pick that wall as my host. Finish my sketch, Revit's going to think a little bit about those curves and it's going to get that railing placed for me. Now I'm going to come back at another rail. Let me turn chain on, follow around there, and I'm going to draw it on top of this roof. Uh, once my sketch lines are done, I'm going to do the exact same thing and pick the host, make the roof that host, finish my sketch, and then you'll notice when I come to my 3D view, that rail has perfectly followed the slope of the roof. This is a uh, roof by extrusion. You can do it by footprint or any other roof. And then also the railing has followed the top edited profile of this wall. And if I update the profile of the wall, that railing is going to update as well. It's hosted the top of these elements. It's going to match the slope there, making modeling these railings a lot more powerful and a lot easier and faster to get done.